The shocking part is that according to the medical science, this X-ray is considered normal. Now, if it is normal, then why does the patient have pain in the shoulders? Why does the patient have pain in the back? As you can see very clearly in this particular X-ray that the spine is going in a curvature. The spine is not in a straight line. There is a indentation on this side of the spine. If you have an MRI or an X-ray which talks a similar language and if you are having some kind of difficulty, you should act on it. Interestingly, these are only minor asymmetries because of which there is no name to this disease. But the outcome can be really bad if it is not treated at the right time. Upon checking, we saw that the line of shoulder is also displaced. One shoulder is higher as compared to the other. All we have to do is very simple techniques and the person will be out of the problem in no time. Now, because this is a structural problem, so the only line of treatment cannot be painkillers because painkillers are only covering the symptoms of pain. They are not relieving the problem. Then sooner or later, this person is going to develop an even greater problem, which is called a scoliosis or he or she can develop a limp in the spine, chalne mein ted hapan, or a severe pain in the back, neck, or a hunch. So something as small, jaisa ki aap abhi dekh pa rahe hain, jo x-ray ke andar mention bhi nahi kiya gaya hai report ke andar, is actually not small. This is just a spark of a fire. If your MRI talks like this has a similar language, you should work on it today. Whatever we are teaching here, whatever we are conducting here is purely scientific and 100% natural. That I'm going to show you how we are working on this patient. And within a single session, the patient is able to feel the freedom in the stiffness of the neck and the shoulder region.